Welcome back to Twin Cities Live, where all afternoon we're celebrating winter in Duluth. It's not our first time exploring this port on Lake Superior. So last April, our Twin Cities Live in Your Town series featured Duluth, and nearly our whole team went up to Hoops Brewing in Canal Park for a live broadcast with a packed house. They were great. I even jumped into Lake Superior for the first time and that was super cold. As you see Cedar and Stone, they do such a good job up there. They even have a floating sauna now these days. So today though, we find Elizabeth a few blocks up the hill from the lake. She's at Wild State Cider. Hello again, Elizabeth. Hello again, Wild State Cider. Listen, it's not as packed as hoops, but I think it's a real cozy crowd here. We are soaking up winter. So Wild State Cider, of course, is in the Lincoln Park neighborhood of Duluth. It's really an area that's seen a lot of change over the last decade as new businesses have come in. Some really cool independent businesses have been putting their roots down here in Lincoln Park. But there's another area, which is West Duluth. And West Duluth is also making a really cool transformation. So yesterday, I stopped by three places that are all about creativity, community, and cocktails. Stop, West Duluth. This is very cool. Listen, I lived in West Duluth 20 years ago. Really? I, no I did. Yeah, my very oh. first job was in Duluth. I lived in West Duluth, and there were two things here a Super One and a Kmart. And now yeah. it's like really amazing. What are you guys doing here? Oh, you know, it honestly is the prime real estate of Duluth mm -hmm. um, because there's all of these abandoned buildings mm -hmm. that you can snatch up for not a lot of money. Like we bought this funeral home kind of for a steal of a deal. Back it up. We bought this funeral home for a steal of the yeah. deal. Somebody says, hey, we're going to open up a shop. You know what has some great mojo? A funeral home. Yeah. Huh. It's his fault. So <laughs> I'm gonna... We were just dying to buy it. So, I mean. It's a good dad joke. <laughs> oh, we literally were looking up for a bigger building to work in. Yeah. Uh, we have an old uh, gas station that we bought. We outgrew that. So we were driving around this, this neighborhood, it's called the Spirit Valley neighborhood. And we're like, we're looking for a garage door. So we're like, that's a garage that we can build artwork in. So all of this we make in this building. And as people walk in the door, a lot of times they're like, the last time we were here were years ago. And it's just been really fun to bring um, new life. Dad, dad, you don't even dad, dad. Yeah. That was a good people, one. People walk in and they're happy. They're, they're, yeah. They walk in, they're like, this is, I feel uh, so much different than it did last time I was here. Yeah. This bookstore, you walk in the door, the aroma of books is intoxicating. It's beautiful, it's welcoming. Tell me about this space. Well, we, um, this is an old building, um, probably over a hundred. 25 years old wow. and we bought it um, not expecting to buy a building actually when we were in the process of thinking about opening a bookstore. You opened the bookstore in a time when you know people might say opening a bookstore is crazy. I mean it's it's a tough well, business. We did get a lot of that um, but I think we also opened it a little bit at the tail end of that feeling where there already was starting to be kind of a backlash against the you know big box Amazon Amazon dominated algorithm driven mm -hmm. you know corporations and you know we're lucky to be in Duluth where people kind of really get um, shop local yeah. and the importance of community. This is a very cool space. Thanks. This place is an absolute gem. I'm so excited for more people to know about it and yeah. to come in and look at those notes and um, it's going to be hard to get me out of here to get to the <laughs> next thing. My last stop of the day, Pete. I'm joining you at the bar. This is at the Jade Fountain Cocktail Lounge. you got to tell me about this spot. This yes. is kind of secret. Yeah, it's a little hole in the wall. You kind of keep it low profile. Uh, <laughs> Jade Fountain was a Chinese restaurant from 1967 till 2015. Uh, total West Duluth landmark. Um, late night food, gathering spot. And uh, we've been open as a cocktail lounge since June of 2020. Wow. 
Um, yeah, they kept uh, all the cool stuff design-wise. What uh, cocktails are you known for? What do you want to show me? So I'm going to show you three of our more popular cocktails. We sort of lean more toward uh, tropical classics. So I'm going to do a pina colada, a Singapore sling, and a Mai Tai for you. Oh here. my gosh. Uh, it does feel like, though, we're going to be transported to a tropical destination, even though we're in West Duluth. That's, that's a fact. That's, that's the whole idea. Look at them go. This is where the muscles are made, my friends. <laughs> this is where we get it done. Who needs a gym when you've got a couple shakers? And we're going to pour. Oh, the money shot. <laughs> so good. You know it. So yeah, Mai Tai, Singapore Sling, Pina Colada. Oh my gosh, look how beautiful. Okay, which one should I try first? Boy, that's really an Elizabeth question, I think. We're going to leave that to you. Well, since you slapped this mint, yeah, yeah. I'm going to make it feel a little better, okay? Here we go. Give this a try. Mm. Oh. Wow. That's a one cocktail for me. <laughs> and my first ever Singapore sling. I'm ready to try this guy. I would say. I think oh, we I did like these that. in the right order too. Now you followed up with dessert, the pina colada. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> I love a pina colada that's good. Like mm -hmm. a, a, a poorly done pina colada is just a tragedy. I don't me. even know about that. Yeah. I, would, I wouldn't even know, mm. yeah. Mm. Wow, you guys. Okay, cheers to West Duluth. Hey. What a treat. Cheers, Cheers. you guys. Cheers, Cheers. gang. <laughs> <laughs> so much fun in West Duluth. Aren't those spots so great? Let me tell you, totally worth checking it out. They're just a quick zip from each other. Make sure that you don't miss them. Um, it was really fun to get to know all those folks and hear about their motivations behind taking some of these really old buildings that all had totally different existences and then turning them into something so cool that are totally becoming treasures here in the city. So up next, I'm going to get a look at other areas of the Zenith City that are definitely worth checking out. We've